In this video, I'm going to show to place the spark plugs on this Ford F-350 with a 6.2 liter V8 engine. There are two per cylinder, so they're actually 16 in total. Eight sit on top around the intake, and the other eight are actually on the side around the exhaust manifolds. Let's get started. Whether you're on the driver's side or passenger side, you do not have to remove this intake piece right here because it's actually not in your way if you can sneak under it with a wrench to remove the hardware. You may have to move hoses and wires out of the way, but that doesn't mean disconnecting them, that just means pushing them to the side so you can see. So let's focus right here. Grab onto the spark plug wire, pull it off, set it aside. Unlock the electrical connector. You may need the help of a pocket screwdriver for this. Just pry on that red tab. Then you're gonna wanna push in the center of that. That'll unlock the rest of the electrical connector. And then, using an eight millimeter socket, unbolt the ignition coil. With the bolt out of the way, we can pull the ignition coil straight up. There it is. Take your spark plug socket with an extension if necessary and drop it down in the cylinder. Carefully break this free. Ooh. Okay, once you've unthreaded your spark plug completely, simply lift it right up and out. And there it is. Now you wanna take your new spark plug, and this is why it's important to have a spark plug socket so that it can actually hold the plug and doesn't let it fall out so that you can put it in the cylinder without it getting damaged. If you think a lot of debris fell down there, go ahead and use some compressed air and blow it all out. Optionally, you could also use a vacuum and drop the spark plug back in and thread it on by hand. You do not need to apply anything to the threads. The threads are already coated, so no anisees or grease or anything like that on the threads of the spark plug. And now just thread it on until it completely bottoms out. It should go down nice and smooth. If it doesn't, it's most likely cross-threading, so stop immediately, pull it back out, and uh, reseat the threads. All right, that just bottomed out. Give it a little bit extra. That's perfect. So now I'm actually gonna leave my socket in here with the extension and I'll come in with the torque wrench so we can torque this down accurately. 13 foot pounds is the torque for this spark plug and all of them really. All right. Get your tool out of here. Put a little bit of silicone paste or dielectric grease just on the end of the boot. This is going to prevent the spark plug from getting stuck on here after a bunch of heat cycles. Now you don't want to stuff it with silicone paste or dielectric grease, you just want enough to coat the outside. Take your ignition coil and drop it down into the spark plug hole. Line it up with its mounting point. Take the bolt and slide it down into the hole. Start on your bolt. Make sure it goes in smoothly and doesn't cross thread. And let's tighten it down. This is bottomed out. Give it about an eighth of a turn at most. After that, and that should be plenty. Reconnect the electrical connector. Push it on until it clicks. And lock it. Take your spark plug wire and line it up with the ignition coil. And press it on until it locks in. There we go. If you pull on it slightly, it should not come off. It should take a little bit of force to pop it back out. Now, if you look through the fender liner, this is where you're gonna find the other end of things. Stick your hand through and find the spark plug wire of the cylinder that you're working on. Twist and pull, and it should pop right out. And right in here, you'll see the spark plug that we're after. It's actually easiest if you go from underneath the truck, stick your spark plug socket on, and then the appropriately sized extension so you can put a ratchet over. And now just pull on it and break it free. All right. I'm going to put a swivel socket on mine and fish it through the fender liner 
It's going to make things a whole lot easier now that it's broken free, but breaking it free with a swivel is actually more difficult, which is why I chose to do it the other way. But now I can get more swing out of it. Okay, and there it is. And there is your spark plug. As you can see, threads are a little bit rusty. Inspect that mounting hole to make sure that everything is in good shape. It's not severely corroded, especially since it's out in the open here. It can definitely corrode much more than the one on the top. With the new spark plug in your spark plug socket, line it up and start threading it on. Just to make things easier, I switched back to my swivel socket now that the threads have caught on. But if you're going to use a swivel socket, do not start it with it because it's very likely that you will cross thread it since it can easily go at an angle. I'm going to bottom this out by hand, which is right here. Put my socket with a little extension on again, and we'll torque this to 13 foot pounds. Okay. For any of these, if you're unable to torque them, that's okay, just make them nice and snug by hand. Try to give them a little bit extra after they bottom out. All you need to do is seat that tapered seat on the head, and that should be plenty. Now you wanna take your spark plug wire, fish it back down. On the end of this wire, I like to put a little bit of silicone paste or dielectric grease. This is going to help it not get stuck on the spark plug in the future. But you don't want a lot, you just want enough to coat the edges. Now you wanna take the wire, slide it over the spark plug, Press it on until it clicks and locks in. And now you do the same to the rest of the ones that are on this side and of course on the other side of the engine. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.